What's up guys, Derf Mode here. I'm gonna show you guys how to bake textures from like a high poly object to a low poly object that you can use in TrueScape, right? So I'm on Sketchfab and I found this sidewalk and it looks really great. It could look cool in the game, right? But the problem is, look, it has like a billion triangles and it's just way too high poly for to even deal with in the game. But I'm gonna download it anyways and unzip it and hop into Blender, right? So let's import the OBJ. Here it is. So first thing, save your project, okay? So that you don't lose this along the way. So there's different ways to do this, but I'm just gonna spawn a plane right here because it's gonna be the easiest way for this object. And I'm just gonna start extruding edges out from the plane and just basically try to match the basic shape of this. So another way to do it would be you could decimate the object and try to create like a low poly version that way. But we're not going to talk really about decimation right now. We're going to talk about baking. So I line this up kind of the closest I can. And it doesn't have to be totally perfect um, for the data to transfer over. So anyways, next we're going to create a new material. We're going to go into our shader editor. And we're going to create a new image texture right here. And you can call it whatever you want. And I'm going to make mine 4096, so it's 4K, because you can always drop the resolution later and compress. And then I'm also going to switch off the alpha, because I don't need that. It's just extra data. So next, we do a smart UV project. So tab into edit mode, select all the faces, and tap U, and put the margin up to 0 0.01, and that should be fine. So now we can hop over into the render settings. And you're going to need to turn the render down to like 10 so it goes faster. Um, you, you, we're not doing any light baking, so that can be really low. In the performance tab, bring the tiles right here up to 512. And then just close the performance tab. We don't need that. Um, in the bake settings, just uh, select diffuse because we're just doing color. So get rid of the indirect light check and the other one. Just color. That's all we need. And then selected to active will make it to where it bakes from a selected object. And as you can see, my objects aren't perfectly lined up. So it, there's not gonna be a perfect bake. So we're gonna toggle this down over here on the right and put 0.5. And if your objects are lined up really perfectly, like your new objects, the exact same size, you could do like 0.1. And if they're not lined up at all, you just keep bringing that higher and higher. Next, in object mode, select your original object and hold shift and then select your new object. In the shader editor, make sure this image is selected and then click bake. And it's going to bake over from the original object you selected to the new object you created. Um, you can see at the bottom, it goes fast because you're not doing any light. You're just doing color texture, right? So up at the top left in the UV editor, you can see our image. I'm going to go ahead and hide the original object and I'm just going to connect the material to our new object and see what it looks like. It looks pretty good. So if you like how it turned out, then save the image or else you'll lose it forever. So up here, go to image, save as, and then I like JPEG. Make sure that you have it at full quality um, when you export it. And yeah, you're good to go. Um, for exporting the FBX, I like to do auto and I switch that right here to copy and then hit the little toggle box right next to it, that little cube. Now it'll bring its textures along with it. Um, selected objects only, put a check right there so it only does the one object. I hold shift and I do mesh and then these other two right here. And that's about it, save it uh, with whatever name you want. Um, as you can see, I imported mine back into the project right here. It looks identical, I'm snapping it to itself. Um, yeah, have some fun, good times.